Good morning, everybody. Today we are in Frankfort, Kentucky, the capital. And I've never been here before. We're going to check out some historic things. And I'm going to tell you a little bit of the story of the history of what I know. And we're going to check out a famous grave site. There may be more than one famous grave site, but we know one person that's buried there for sure is American pioneer Daniel Boone. And there's just a lot of interesting stuff here. So I'm going to show you what I can with the time that I have this morning. But uh, let's go take a look. It does appear like there's a lot of really old historic homes down here. And just over here, I'm not sure what's going on over here. But it looks like they bulldozed or blew up some kind of a property over here. Just never know what's going on around here. Looks like this may have been an old YMCA. We are awake before the rest of the city and before coffee. But it's a really neat old historic downtown district. Now this is my first time in Frankfort. Over here is the old state capitol building. Here's a memorial plaque or a history plaque for Governor George Madison. Buried in Frankfort Cemetery which we're going to go to today. It's a little weird being the only person out here, but it is a Sunday morning, and pretty early, I might add. This right here is the Old State Capitol Building. And there's something kind of interesting here that I want to see if we can find. The downtown area. Very beautiful and historic. And there is nobody awake right now. Old State Capitol National Historic Landmark open Tuesday through Saturday 10 to 5. And if you wouldn't know it, today is Sunday so they're closed. But we're still gonna take a look at it and see what we can see. And there is something specific that I'm looking for here that I will tell you about as soon as we see it. It's amazing how they constructed things back in the day. It's beautiful. Here is a memorial here to Governor William Goebel. And this is kind of what I wanted to show you over here. There's a little more to it. Governor William Goebel, the able and most effective advocate and champion of the people's cause, their loved and loyal friend. On January 30th, 1900, he was shot down by an assassin from the private office of then Secretary of State. He was born in 1856, passed away in 1900. It says, tell my friends to be brave and fearless and loyal to the great common people his last words. Now he was shot and killed on this square right here. This is he served as a state senator for 14 years and he had just gotten elected governor and he was only governor for a couple of days and he was taken down here and I believe he was the only sitting governor to ever be assassinated. I'll show you each side of this if you want to pause and read any of it. Some information from William Jennings Bryan. And things wouldn't be the way they were if uh, there wasn't a little bit of litter. Dill pickle vodka. There's a few squirrels here. 
that want to make a cameo in today's video. Now there is a newer building over here, but this is the old Capitol, and I'm not sure where exactly those shots rang out from. There is a fountain out front. But where it all went down was right here. Little piece of Kentucky history. The first ever governor to be assassinated while being a sitting governor happened right here. There's a plaque memorializing where exactly he fell. January 30th, 1900. That is neat that they actually memorialized the spot where it happened. Today so much history is lost that it's it's nice that they that they honor that. Now this is closed today being Sunday, but I have to show you this because how many places like this still exist? Just amazing. Kentucky's old state capital. But they are sorry they missed us. Would have been nice to have gotten in here. But if you could just imagine, put yourself back in time 124 years his final steps would have been taken right over there. It's kind of crazy to think about. It looks like someone attempted to deliver a pizza here and failed. That is one of the things that I never quite understood when visiting historic sites, just how many people leave garbage and kind of trash the place. So this is just a friendly reminder if uh, you come and visit places like this is to keep these places as nice as we possibly can. Old State House has been designated a registered National Historic Landmark, 1972. Now when I visit these places, I always try to kind of rewind time in my mind a little bit, if that sounds sane, to kind of picture how things would have been back in the 1800s, how things would have been in the country, just the differences. Nice sunrise over there. And there is a plaque here in front of the old state house. Kentucky's third capital on this site, built in 1827 to 1829 of Kentucky River Marble. If you'd like to read the whole thing, feel free to pause it. Another interesting note on the bottom, Daniel Boone and his wife Rebecca lay in state here in 1845. It's pretty neat. This is amazing. Now, if you had a historic home here, I would definitely decorate it for Halloween like they did. This is phenomenal. If you can see the, uh, the one up here has a sickle in his hand. One dangling from the top. That is Halloween decorations done right. And this is the historic Frankfurt Cemetery. There are a lot of really interesting and well-known people here, but we're gonna go in and check out just a couple of them for today. So let's go see who we can find. Now this is a really neat old historic cemetery, and I'll show you a little bit better in a second, but just over there is the Kentucky State Capitol. And over here, we just talked about William Goble, the first governor. Uh, he was very well loved around here, but this is his grave. He was born January 4th, 1856, died February 3rd, 1900, where we just showed you over at the Capitol. And this is his spot right here. This is a pretty impressive one.
erected by the people of Kentucky and other states. Kentucky's martyr governor. It's got a pretty good spot here. Now let's see who else we can find. Now if you can see just through here, that is the Kentucky State Capitol. It looks like the rotunda is undergoing some construction, but you can see it very clearly from the cemetery here. Now this one over here looks kind of intriguing. I'm not sure whose it is, but we'll go down to take a look. This looks like the Alexander family plot. This is pretty impressive. Robert Alexander, born January 5th, 1767. Died February 1st, 1841. Here's one more look at the view. Certainly one of the best views I've ever seen from a cemetery. And just over here is the most notable resident of this cemetery. And this is Daniel Boone. Now he wasn't originally buried here. I believe he was brought back here around 1845 with his wife Rebecca. Daniel Boone, born 1734, died 1820. An American pioneer. It's pretty historic. And this is the view that would be from his gravesite. But this is pretty impressive. In honor of Revolutionary War Patriots, Patriots, Daniel Boone. Rebecca Boone. That is one impressive monument. Now there are a couple other people that are also laid to rest here, and we'll see if we can find them. Now just over here is one other notable name in the cemetery. And it's not because of history, it's because she was a member of the WWF back then, WWE now. And this is Miss Elizabeth. Now she was probably best known for being the valet for Macho Man Randy Savage. But she was dating Lex Luger at the time. And she was living, I believe, in Marietta, Georgia. But she ended up passing away at the age of only 42 years old. But she is also laid to rest here at uh, at Frankfurt Cemetery. Elizabeth Ann Hewlett was her her actual name. Miss Elizabeth was her ring name. November nineteenth, nineteen sixty, to May first, two thousand three. Very short life. Next to Marianne, who I'm presuming was her mother. She outlived her daughter by quite a while, 18 years. But yeah, Miss Elizabeth. Well, that's about all I have to show to you for uh, from Frankfurt today. There will be a lot more coming up from different areas, but uh, we were only here just for the morning. So I wanted to show you what I could here, but thanks so much for watching and we will catch you on the next video. Take care, everybody.